hey 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 welcome back to my channel today i'm bringing to you the coconut milk jollof rice so jollof rice is one of my favorite favorite rice dishes this was created by the people of ghana it is very delicious and it is ideal for any occasion without wasting time let's just get started so i've got here a medium-sized onion I have a piece of garlic, I've got a piece of ginger and I have about four pieces of chili pepper. I have a finger of celery and a piece of sweet pepper. What I'm going to do is that I'll blend everything up. I'll put my nonstick pan on fire and come in with some oil. Next I'll drop in my blended ingredients. I'll let this fry for about a minute. I'll come in with about 2 tablespoons full of concentrated tomatoes. I'll drop in about half a cup of freshly mashed tomatoes. I'll come in with some salt, some soy sauce, black pepper and some white pepper. I will come in with my chicken sauce and I'll cover this up to cook on very low fire. This will have to cook for about 30 minutes. Now I've got my perfumed jasmine rice here. I'll be using 500 grams. So here, our tomato sauce is very well cooked now. I will just drop in my washed rice. I'll come in with a little bit of curry. Then I'll drop in my coconut milk. I'll give it a good mix. Then cover it up to cook. Don't forget we're doing this on low fire. If the fire is too hot, it's going to burn. So it's been after about five minutes and as you can see, it's coming in very well. I'll give it a good mix and come in with about a quarter cup of water then i'll cover it up again and let it cook for about 10 minutes so it's been after about 10 minutes and as you can see it is still coming out well i'll give it a good mix this time i wouldn't add any more water because i don't want it too soft now i'll come in with an aluminium foil to help trap in all the moisture It's been after about 10 minutes and as you can see our rice is looking very very great I'll mix this again I'll sprinkle a little bit of water on it I'll cover it and let it continue cooking It's been after about 10 minutes and it's almost ready. I'll cover it again for the last time and let this cook for about five more minutes. So, so, so this time our jollof rice is well cooked. It is ready to be served. So I'll put off the fire and let it cool down a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our coconut milk jollof rice. This smells and tastes so delicious. This recipe is my wild card whenever I'm getting visitors and people can just get enough of this rice. I hope you are going to give this a try and if you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.